Hi, this is a video about FreePlane, which I think is the best free open source mind map application. This will demonstrate one use case, a recipes mind map. A word about what you're saying, this is FreePlane in full screen mode, and this is two map views. This is going to be the road map for what we're going to be doing today, and this is where we're going to be building a recipe. In order to access features on the menu, we're going to use command search, which is control F1. And we have to make sure that this is checked here. I'm going to turn on spotlight in this map view. This will make it easier to see where we are as we go along. The first thing we need to do is get material into Freeplane. So we'll go into a browser and copy a recipe. This is the recipe we'll be using because it looks yummy to me and it's not copyright protected. So I'll double click here and then move down the screen and then find the end and there's a text cursor so I'll press shift click and then right click copy and back in free plane I'm going to paste it but first I'm going to create a category to put it in. I'm pressing the insert key to create a child node and I'll just call it dessert. The default way to copy is control V but I don't like those big titles and whatnot so I'm going to press control Z to back out. I've opened command search using control F1 and typed in paste and this is the option I want paste as so I'm going to double click it and it's asking me which kind of text to use, just plain text. In my experience, recipes don't always come in in the same formats, so you have to kind of fiddle around a little bit. I recognize that this is a title, so I'm going to click here and then press Shift Page Down to select all of that. Then I'm going to press Control right arrow to make all of this children, child nodes of the title. Then I like to put the author, which looks like this is it, in the details of the title. So I'm going to press Control X to cut. And then on the title I press F3 to put this, and then just Control V to put this into the details of the titles node. While I'm at it, I'm going to resize this a little bit more narrow by holding the Alt key and then with my mouse wheel, I either move the wheel away from me to make it wider or towards me to make it narrower. I don't need all of this information for my purposes, so I'm going to just shift air, down arrow to get some of this selected. I don't need any of that, so I'm just going to remove it and then shift down arrow again till I get here I'm a little confused about ingredients it doesn't look like there's anything there I'm going to cut this again with control X and I want to put it as a note on this title node I've opened up command search again that's control F1 and I've typed note and this is the option I want, Edit Note in Dialog. So I double click it, which brings up the Edit Note Dialog and I'm just going to press Control V. And I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. Um, it's just how I like to see things spread out a little bit. And then to close this out and save it, you either press the OK button or Alt-O. And I'm a little confused about just where the ingredients are on this, so in Command Search, I'm going to unfold one level just to get a peek at what is underneath there. Double click. So for some reason, the ingredients got put in as child nodes of this node. I want to copy this to put in with the rest of my nodes, my notes but I'm going to press Control shift c That's only going to copy the contents of 
this node and, and not the children. And I'm going to overwrite this with the ingredients. And I've gone back into my edit note uh, dialog and I'm just going to press control V and then out of here. And I can continue to get rid of the things I don't need, like these for example. And sometimes I find myself having to rearrange things a little bit just to keep myself uh, organized. So I've created these section headings and put all the ingredients to the right as children. And then I'm going to put the ingredient in bold. Maybe it's just my old eyes, but I have a hard time sometimes parsing a line like this. It's got an amount, it's got an ingredient, and then it's got a little annotation. I find I can understand it better if I put the ingredient itself in bold. I'm going to pause the video right now and, and just go ahead and do that for all the ingredients. So this is a lot easier for me to find the actual ingredient if it's bolded. And it doesn't take that long to do it. The next step is important to me. Maybe other people won't find it that important, but I find it very difficult to follow instructions here that refer to crust ingredients and then have to go up here to find them. So my strategy is to have the instructions and then the ingredients right there where you need them at the time you need them. Sometimes it's useful to reorganize here. They have this organized in three steps. And then there's some other information that I'm going to add with the rest of the notes in here. So I'm going to control X to cut this. And we're back in the notes. I'm going to paste it in, separate that, and then Alt O to get out of here with saving it. I'm going to be breaking these steps apart, so I'm going to put a, a new parent for each one of them. That's Shift Insert. In breaking these apart, I'm going to try to look out for kitchen items like this pan. I'm going to put that those in bold like I put ingredients in bold just for my tired eyes. So to break this apart I'm going to double click on this node and while I'm here I'll go ahead and bold that. Um, and now I'm looking for things that are uh, individual steps. So I'm right here I think that's a new step. I'm going to hold the Alt key down and press the letter S for split. So that took the last part of this node and put it here. And I'm going to get inside this again and go down and call this another step. Alt S. I want to show an alternate way to um, divide this up and break it up. So I've entered command search again. Control F1. I've typed in no dialog. I want to edit this in a dialog just like I added the notes earlier. So I'm going to double click this and I'll move up and I'll get rid of that uh, too there. And I'm looking for places to that are new steps. That's just not. So I just press enter instead of alt s here. And one more step. Now I go back to the first one select it with control A and cut it with control X and then get out of there with Alt O again. Now I press control V to paste that as children. I've got them all selected as, as children and I'm pressing control left arrow to move them underneath where I just got them from. I've done the same steps to break apart the last section and I bolded some more kitchen items and I've renamed directions to be instructions because that's what I like better. Now it's time to find in the instructions 
where it talks about the ingredients and just drag them over. So here it's talking about crust ingredients and that's the, these. So I'm going to select those and hold down the left mouse button and just drag them over here till the right side of this node kind of turns gray and then let up the mouse button. So now I've got the instructions and I have the ingredients to carry out the instructions and they're side by side. They're right where I need them. They're right at the time that I need them. The next ingredients are called for right here in this node of Splenda and cream cheese. So I've selected them and I'm going to drag them down here too like I did the others. And the way this broke apart I'm going to drag the Cool Whip down here. The next ingredients are called for here. So I drag these selected nodes down there. And the last ingredients are the berries here. So I drag it down. So now we no longer need this at all so I'm going to get rid of it. I have found that if you only have one item in a level then it's usually okay to just get rid of that. So I'm going to select all of these at this level. Control left arrow and then I'm just going to get rid of that. And just to keep each of these uh, sections of the recipe kind of separate a little bit. Each of these nodes has a, a oval move handle on the on the root side of it. So if I hold control and my left mouse button down and then just move this up it spreads them apart. And if you goof somehow doing that just press control R and that will put them back the way they originally were. So just to recap we don't have separate instructions and ingredients. We have them side by side just where you need them, just when you need them. We have the ingredients bolded so we can find them easily. We have kitchen items bolded so we can find them easily. We haven't lost any information. It's uh, what we don't see in the map we see in the notes here. I did forget to get the uh, URL for this so I'm going to copy it here. And this may be sufficient for all most people might want. I've got some other things I want to cover, but I'm going to break that into a part two. So I hope you'll join me on that. It'll be in the uh, description below the link. So I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.